In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a staging site in WP Engine. It just takes the click of one button, then you wait a little bit, then you can make all kinds of edits and changes and just drastic changes on your staging site and it won't affect your live, which is awesome. Then at the push of a button, when you're happy with your staging site, you can migrate it back to your live site. Super easy. We're going to get started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, and you like WordPress tutorials and tips and tricks, click the subscribe button, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And with that out of the way, if you like deals, check out the half off hosting deal I negotiated for you with Inmotion Hosting. Nearly every plan is half off, some are less, but every plan has a discount that you could use for yourself or for your clients or whatever. Feel free to go check that out in the link down below or the card that popped up. And with that out of the way, let's head to this tutorial. Setting up a staging site with WP Engine is really, really easy. Every website installed in WP Engine has a left menu option up here called WP Engine. It's nearly almost always the very top one. Hover over that, click on staging. If you've never made a staging site before, you're going to come to a page that looks like this, where we click on copy site from live to staging, which I'll do in just a second. When we click on that button, it's going to take a snapshot of the live site, put it on the staging, then we can fix whatever it is we have to fix or test whatever it is we have to test. Then we can push that back to live. It's important to remember they are not synced. Once you click this button, it's a snapshot of the site right now. So if you have a site in staging for a longer period of time and your live site is continually updated with new content, new videos, new images, new whatever, when you copy back from staging to live, that new content will be overwritten. It won't be there anymore. So you want to make sure you don't keep stuff in staging too long if you plan on pushing it back. And once we have a site in staging, like we're going to do right now, we're going to go in and do a fix. Then we're going to push it back to live, but that staging site will still exist. It will still be there and it will not be synced. The next time you want to put a site in the staging, you're going to click the copy site from live to staging button again. Then it's going to take a snapshot of the live site at that point. So if you're going to do a lot of stuff in the staging, chances are you're going to copy from live to staging a lot if your site is updated a lot. That's just something to keep in mind. I'm going to go ahead and click on this button. And this usually takes a little while. Sometimes it's quick, sometimes it's fast, depending on the size of your site. But we are copying from staging. We have this message right here. It's being built in the background. It can take a long time, especially for large sites, like I was saying. So we got to check back on this page every so often. We just come here, refresh the page, or we navigate back to the page. And we see status updates based on where we are. I'm just going to pause this video and I will come back when the staging site is complete. So after a few minutes, I came back to this page. So we initiated the creation of the snapshot at around 240. It's now 146, probably time zone change. So probably 246, wherever this time zone is. So it took about six minutes to make this happen, which isn't that long. It's not a very big site right now, but we see that the page is different. We have the link to open the staging site, which we're going to go to in just a second. We have still the copy site from live staging and then deploy site from staging to live. These are two very important distinctions. When you've worked on the staging site and you have it the way you want it and you fix certain things, you click on this button. That's going to overwrite all your live site, the entire thing, not just the content, the entire live site with what's on your staging site. And then this one goes the opposite way from live to staging. So when you're getting ready to click on one of these two buttons, make sure you read and pay attention to what they say because the outcome can be very bad if you push the wrong one. Now we're going to go ahead and click on this link, which is going to be our staging site link. It's going to open the site in a new tab and it's going to be an exact replica of the website. And you're able to log in. If you go to the login page, the login is going to be the same as the login on your live site. So I'm just going to look up my password and then log in. And now we're in the back end and we now have the exact same replica, the exact same site on a different URL. This is our staging environment and we can blow this thing up as much as we want and live traffic is not going to be affected. Another important distinction between the two sites is if you have plugins or themes or something that's licensed for the live site, it's not going to be licensed for the staging site. So you may run into issues there. You may be able to contact the plugin developer or the theme developer and ask them to give you a temporary license because you're trying to develop something on the staging site and you can tell them you can shut down that license in 24 hours or whatever. Just so they don't think you're trying to get a free license to use however you want. Uh, also, search engines are discouraged. So when this site is moved over, 
we, if we go to settings and then reading, this box is checked. Why is this checked? Well, because this URL is accessible to the world because we just accessed it. So there is a chance if you have the staging site out here too long that search engines will index your staging site and that's not very good. So that's why WP Engine automatically checks this box to discourage search engines from indexing it. They still might. The best practice is to create a staging site, do what you have to do, move it back to live, get rid of the staging site, and then it's, it's clean that way. That's how easy it is. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe, then hit the bell icon so you don't miss anything. Check out the half off for hosting deal in the description down below and possibly in the card that popped up if I had any remaining cards. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. Until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.